Welcome to our review on transcription and translation. So what we're going to look at now is how we actually make a protein. So we know that we've got DNA inside our cells. We know that it codes for these proteins. Now we need to know how it actually does this. So the way that we make a protein is actually a two stage process. The first stage being transcription. So what we are actually going to be doing here is using the DNA kind of like a template. So I've given you a diagram in the top right, which is going to go with our explanation. So the first thing that's going to happen when we actually undergo this process of protein synthesis is that the DNA unzips. So the bonds are broken between our actual bases there and you've got this open section of DNA as you can see in the diagram. Now, the next thing that happens is there are these free RNA bases present within the nucleus and they're going to pair up with those actual bases on the DNA to make that complementary base pairing. And as a result of that, we make something called mRNA or messenger RNA. Now, there is one key difference that we need to remember, which is that RNA does not have thymine. So there are no T's in RNA. Anytime you should have had a T, you put a U instead because it's replaced by this one called uracil. So once we've actually gone along our actual gene and made our mRNA strand, it's going to detach from the DNA and then it leaves the nucleus through one of the pores and it travels to a ribosome. So that first step there is called transcription. So if you think about it like writing a code, that's basically what we're doing when we're transcribing. We've written a code here in mRNA from our DNA. So the second step is what's called translation. So what we find is our mRNA, which was actually small enough to leave the nucleus, unlike the DNA, that's actually gone into the cytoplasm and it attaches to the ribosomes. Now, the ribosome then has the mRNA strand move through it. And as that happens, it's reading the code in sequences of three bases called a triplet. So what actually happens is for each triplet sequence in your mRNA, then that matches with a code for an amino acid. So that amino acid comes in and then it slides along a little bit, reads the next triplet code, the next amino acid comes in and they're bonded together to make this chain of amino acids. So that will continue going all the way through the ribosome until we've actually got to the end, at which point we have this entire chain of amino acids and the sequence of those is going to determine how the protein actually folds so its final structure so that process is called translation so we've taken a code and now we're actually changing it into a sequence of amino acids so we're translating it into a protein make sure that you do know the difference between transcription the first step and translation the second step and can explain what happens at each of them you could very well have a six mark question on this because there's plenty to write about. There's plenty of key words in there. They could also give you questions whereby you've got to match up what the sequence would be, for example, on the mRNA strand. Or they could give you information in the question about the different amino acids and ask you which one would actually be made in that mRNA strand. So just make yourself aware of those key points and remember that mRNA is read in little sequences of three bases.